This right here is the new 2024 Chevy Blazer EV, the all-electric Chevy Blazer on GM's Ultium Modular EV platform. We're here today checking out this vehicle. We've got members from the Chevy team that are going to tell us some really cool technical details, exterior, interior, walk around, showing some of the really cool tech on this all-electric Blazer. And I'll grab my camera, do a walk around, and show you guys my thoughts on the all-new Blazer EV. And this one here is the SS model, the top-tier trim. There's a couple of different trims that are coming out. We have 1LT, 2LT, RS, SS, and there also will be a police pursuit vehicle version of the Blazer EV. As the SS trim, this has the most power, all wheel drive. 557 horsepower and 648 pound-feet of torque with wide open watts mode. Wow, GM is loving their acronyms. On the Hummer EV, you have watts to freedom, WTF mode. Here you've got wow mode. Zero to 60 in estimated under four seconds with the all-wheel drive Blazer EV SS. And that definitely, it's gonna be quite quick. Also, with a modular electric vehicle platform, you can have a very low center of gravity, flat load floors, packaged very well for that. This also has independent front and rear suspension. As the SS, we've got the upgraded 22 inch wheels, unique styling, which we'll talk about a bit more. Looking at it, it's quite aggressive. It looks pretty awesome. Unique front fascia, big light bar. I'll get more into the specific exterior details when I do that walk around. For range, max range, depending on the configuration, is 320 miles estimate. The cool thing is, usually with a vehicle, you have front wheel drive plus all wheel drive, or it's rear wheel drive plus all wheel drive. Very rarely, I don't think ever have I seen a vehicle that you can option either front wheel drive or rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. So there's a lot of different configurations and options available for future Blazer EV customers. And we can talk about different charging rates with kilowatts and all the stuff that I forgot from electro engineering classes. The most important thing is 78 miles of range and 10 minutes of charge time. That's a really relatable metric that you can consume and understand. So plug it in on the fastest charging rate. In 10 minutes, you could have 78 miles of additional range. With that, we'll grab the other camera, talk to some of the Chevy team here, and I will also get to explore the Chevy Blazer EV SS. Hi, I'm Doug Houlihan. I'm the Blazer EV Executive Chief Engineer, and we're excited to share with you the new Blazer EV SS. And it all starts with the Altium propulsion platform, which we leverage that can modular design across GM's entire portfolio. And with the Blazer, what we basically did is we took the wheels and we pushed them out to the corners and we put in three different size battery packs. The largest battery pack integrated into the underbody creates a low center of gravity and a flat load floor with structural rigidity that we know our customers will enjoy. We created three trim levels across three different drive configurations. We have front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive. On our 1LT, we offer front wheel drive. Our 2LT, we offer front and all wheel drive. On our RS, we go to rear wheel drive. And then on this SS, we offer our performance all wheel drive system with the WOW, the wide open Watts feature. This SS, which, oh, by the way, has 557 horsepower, 648 foot-pounds of torque, zero to 60 in under four seconds, yet we still achieve 290 miles. Whoa. And then our 1LT, we get 247 miles. And our 2LT, front wheel drive 293 miles. That's pretty impressive. So some really good numbers. And you know we're still working through the testing. I was just driving the vehicle a couple weeks ago at the Milford Proving Grounds in Michigan. And we're off to a great start. We're really summer, excited for summer of 23. And then let's talk a little bit about charging. So charging, we offer an 11 kilowatt AC charging for home and public use, and then 190 kilowatt charging for DC fast charge, where we achieve 78 miles in just under 10 minutes of charge. And then there's all kinds of other cool features like regen on demand, one pedal driving, and then we also offer the hands-free lift gate, uh, and it's presence-based. So the way, the way it works is when you, let's say you have your key fob on you, yeah and there's no kicking or trying to find the spot. You just walk up, and once you get within proximity, 
And let's say you have luggage in your hands, it's ready to go. That's and lift gate opens up. Yep. And now you can unload your luggage and you can walk away and it's good to go. This is our new presence based, hands free lift gate system. If you had to pick one favorite feature of the Blazer EV SS, what would you say is your favorite aspect of this vehicle? Wow, <laughs> wide open watts. And that's where we take just a little bit more electrical current into the inverter, release that energy, and that's how we achieve with our performance all wheel drive system over 557 horsepower, tremendous torque at 648 foot pounds, yeah. and under four seconds, zero, zero to, to 60. 60. And what, what's, what's kind of cool about that though, just to take a, a little bit more, is in that, that big 17.7 .7 inch screen, you go in there and you turn the wow on, and it's on for the key cycle. Oh, okay. All right, so as long as you're driving, then when you, when you, when you key off, you're, you're good to go. So and even after the zero to 60 launch, wow, right. still, you still get that You still get it for the whole seven. driving experience. Oh, okay. Now you can go in while you're driving and turn yeah. it off, okay. but let's talk about, there is no key. So this is a hands-free and no key system. Yeah. So let me talk a little about it. So when you get in, you shut the door, you put your foot on the brake and you're ready to go. Our Blazer EV is ready to, ready to take wherever you want to go. So that's pretty cool. So when you get out, put it in park and just Yeah, eat. and in and, and our uh, configurations are set on the steering wheel stock. So park, and you just push in at the end of the stock, push down yeah. to go forward, up for reverse, and you're good to go. I'm Justin Salmon. I'm a senior creative designer for Chevrolet. You know, you heard a little bit about that Ultium platform, and that really was a designer's dream. We, we touched on that slightly longer wheelbase and how that really gave us fantastic proportions to accentuate the vehicle's length and make it feel very lean. Um, also, the wider track gave it a really, really impactful stance as you see it from front perspectives. So the result is a very athletic profile and a highly dramatic and expressive entry into the segment. So while we're out front here, we can talk a little bit about the fascia of the SS. This is an exclusive fascia that you would get with the SS model. Um, the centerpiece of that being the full width LED lighting signature. And so with that, there's a, an animation that plays as you approach the vehicle. And it's a little bit of choreography as you approach also when you leave the vehicle. So um, in addition to that, one of the other things we're really excited about is the fact that it plays a unique animation when the vehicle is charging. So as you're walking up to the vehicle, you can get a sense of that charging status, the intensity and speed of that animation will kind of adjust based on your charging status. So it's really a communication point between the EV and the EV customer. Taking advantage of that Ultium platform, we're really able to keep something dynamic here while still enabling a lot of spaciousness. So one of the first things you'll notice is our VCS, our virtual cockpit system. You'll notice our 17.7 .7 inch display there. It's a freeform display meaning we're keeping the active pixels really close to the edge of the screen and um, you get something that feels very integrated and high tech. Um, it's also slightly angled toward the driver to create a little bit of a driver centric feel, uh, which is something that's really drawing on the roots of our performance vehicles like Corvette and Camaro. Definitely wanted to leverage that energy for this design. Um, something else you'll notice is we've really dialed up the use of soft touch materials and that gave us a great canvas for using color in a really expressive way. So here you're seeing the adrenaline red paired with a black and that really starts to break things up and create a really bold statement. Something that we feel is really going to stand out in this segment. We wanted to create a design that raises your heartbeat and we think the Blazer EV does just that. Some of the other pieces that I think are worth noting, the flat bottom steering wheel, which you've included for the RS and the SS, so lives up to that performance pedigree while also adding a little bit of ease to entry egress. So that's something we're really excited about. Also, we've highlighted round vents, but in a very novel and, and modern way. They've been a heritage design element for Chevrolet performance in the past, but really playing with new material executions to create a sense of depth and detail that really celebrates those round elements. So that's kind of a nod to our design heritage in the performance space. Hmm. Well, for me, I think it's a toss up between how impactful that screen is when you first see it as you walk up to the vehicle, as well as how intricate some of the interactions the material are around the vents. That interplay of materials is something that we're really excited to see make its way to production. Hi everyone, I'm Amy MacDonald. I do feature and technology management on the Chevrolet Blazer EV. So as you can see from the interior of this vehicle, it is dripping in content and technology. The first thing that draws your eye is this 17.7 .7 diagonal inch VCS screen that's complemented by an 11 inch diagonal driver information center. Um, inside of this VCS screen is where you're going to see a plethora of applications and features 
that you can activate, you can turn off, um, and leveraging our Altify platform, which is this end-to-end -end software platform, you can actually download more applications, more features, and enhancements to these items, um, very similar to how you would receive a software update on your smartphone. Um, what this means for the Blazor EV is that your experience gets better and better throughout its life cycle and you can download features and enhancements to features that don't even exist yet, that we haven't even invented, but we'll be making available to the Blazor EV customer down the line. Um, the SS comes standard with Super Cruise, which is the industry's first hands-free driving technology. Um, I actually used Super Cruise for the first time on a different Chevrolet product. It was a Bolt EUV. And although I was a bit nervous with my hands hovering around the steering wheel, it was so seamlessly following the lanes and the flow of traffic and even helped guide me through stop and go traffic on my way home. So what is normally a, a stressful, fatiguing drive ended up being uh, quite breezy. So, um, and Super Cruise is not the only active safety feature on this vehicle. We're also proud to tell you that we have reverse automatic braking. Um, so if an object or a person or a pet is detected in the rear plane of the vehicle while you're in reverse, the vehicle will automatically stop. And it can do that reaction time and brake for you faster than the human brain can even process that an object is there. Um, and we didn't stop there when it comes to safety. We also have forward collision alert and then the standard Chevy safety assist suite of features. Um, so this is an impressive vehicle. We are integrating in a massive amount of technology to help entertain you, to help keep you safe, to help make your life easy, and we are so excited to unveil this vehicle. Let's do an exterior walk-around tour of this Blazer EV SS. So the SS trim has a unique front fascia, obviously the most aggressive one for the full electric super sport model from Chevy. You have this light bar here, including the light up Chevy logo, the bow tie. But this light bar has the welcome sequence as choreographed for the SS and RS models, and also can show the charging sequence. So the, it turns blue and it kind of sweeps across and changes intensity. Also, we've got the demo going on right now. You can see that. It's a really, really cool design element of the front end of the Blazer. The gas Blazer that came out a couple years ago already looked really cool and aggressive. But that one had, I think, a little bit more uh, bark than bite. I didn't love the way that one drove, but it definitely looked really Camaro and Corvette inspired. And this SS EV version continues that trend. We have upgraded 22 inch wheels for the SS model. The RS comes on 21s, and I think the 1LT starts on 19 inch wheels. We also have this really cool element here on the side. Finishing up up front, we've got this big blacked out front fascia. Just overall really aggressive. Is there a front trunk under the hood? No, so there's nothing underneath there. So no storage, no frunk on the Blazer SS up there. Come around the side, you'll see the two-tone finish, blacked out mirrors, black roof over this very nice red paint. And then coming around back, these taillights, the whole design element of this really is really sporty. Blacked out Chevy logo back here. And you'll see the three blue bars. I think the Silverado EV also has that logo element there. All wheel drive for the SS. And also this has a proximity based trunk. So no kicking your foot, no pressing no buttons. When you get behind there, it senses it and opens up the lift gate for you. Obviously no exhaust tips back here, but we have a little bit of a styling kind of rear diffuser area. And with that, let's check out the interior. The interior of the Blazer EV is also pretty awesome, filled with technology. But the first thing you'll notice is this adrenaline red interior. This is very vibrant, bright red leather. It looks awesome, complements the exterior red and black very nicely. It actually really reminds me of the adrenaline red dipped red interior on that C8 Z06 I got a ride in. So this is really cool. Have a little bit of this textured pattern on the seats. I believe on the SS they are heated and cooled, heated and ventilated. And also the SS and RS both get flat bottom steering wheels. So we can climb inside. The infotainment screen here is a 17.7 inch and Chevy calls it a freeform screen where you'll see it goes out to the edge of this beveled shape here. So it doesn't just end in a rectangle. And the graphics, you can see it's on a demo loop right now. Those look awesome, like very nice graphics. And the volume knob here is integrated on the actual screen itself. So that's really awesome. And then in the middle, we have a 11 inch digital cluster here and it has Super Cruise. SS gets Super Cruise as standard. And there's also a heads up display. So plenty of technology inside here. 
Super Cruise is one of the best driver assistance systems I've experienced. I've driven it in the Hummer EV, Escalade, Escalade V. The Bolt EV has it, but it's not like the enhanced full-out version. This one will be extremely capable, and on freeways, on a supported map freeway, you go full hands-free. It follows curves, it makes lane changes, it passes people. GM Super Cruise is seriously impressive. And if you look above me, we have this huge panoramic sunroof there. The front portion will open, gives the cabin a very wide open and airy feel to it. Coupled with the fact that with the Ultium platform as an electric vehicle, you have a flat load floor, like interior space here is fantastic. I have to apparently set the front seat to where I would sit at six foot three and then climb in the back row because I've been told the back row is also exceptionally spacious. But before that, let's finish checking out the inside of the front, the, the driver's seat here. The flat bottom steering wheel has the SS logo right there. We have the single regen braking paddle that you'll find on the Bolt. I believe the Bolt EV also had that. This has regen braking, uh, one pedal driving and so forth. And these air vents are really cool. They're like the circular turbine inspired ones, very similar to the ones that you found in the Camaro. It's like a big interior design element of GM sportier vehicles. And look at all the crazy textures, the patterns there. Looks like there's little lighting too. That's really cool. And a lot of different textures. We've got the leather. We've got what looks like a carbon fiber look like trim there around the door handle. Stitched leather there. And I've been told there's also a bunch of different combinations. You can do a little more stealthy interior color if you don't want this full red, but you can still have contrasting stitching. So there'll be a lot of flexibility there for people to customize what their Blazer EV is gonna look like. Okay, so I've set my driver's seat to where I would be comfortable driving. I am six foot three. We're gonna climb out and test out the second row space. So again, driver's seat here. I haven't moved it. Now we're gonna see leg room, head room, and so forth in the second row. So head room, okay, my head is bumping the roof slightly as the roof line comes down, but leg room here, that's fantastic. It feels, it does feel wide open and spacious. That's pretty good. And also the full panoramic roof that continues back here. This was an awesome opportunity getting to check out the all new 2024 Blazer EV, especially having the SS model here, the top tier, most powerful, sportiest trim. In terms of availability and pricing, next year, 2023 summer, the 2LT and the RS will be first available followed by the SS, and then Q1 of 2024, we'll get the 1LT and the PPV, the police pursuit vehicle, which we didn't actually talk about enough. The PPV is gonna be awesome. They'll have the upgraded Brembo brakes, the most power for police use there, a different interior, obviously, for police usage. The pricing, the lowest priced 1LT is gonna be right around $45,000 with the top tier SS starting just under $66,000. And for 66 grand to have a electric crossover that makes 600, over 600 pound feet of torque and it'll do zero to 60 in under four seconds. That sounds like a pretty cool combination. Plus this looks pretty awesome. This was so exciting getting to see this. I can't wait to get behind the wheel and experience what the Blazer EV is gonna be like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.